I'm Binu Keller. Welcome to Binu Inspires. It's time to give your children a childhood they won't have to heal from. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday Wisdom with Binu Keller. Today I wanted to talk about a topic that I was discussing with my guest yesterday on my TV show, Redefine Parenting. We were talking about the Franklin Covey Seven Habits of Highly Effective Families. And one of the habits, I believe it is habit four, which is win-win. Part of the win-win is how we fill up our emotional banks. And I wanted to talk about it because I think that that one habit can change so much in the way that we parent and the way that our kids respond to us. So I was explaining it as if it's a battery. So imagine you are a battery. What happens if your battery is dead? Nothing, nothing happens. You can't start anything with it. You can't turn on anything because it's totally dead. If you plug in the battery and it rejuices and recharges, what happens? You have full functional play of whatever device or whatever it is, right? And what happens when we play that device for a long, long period of time? The battery runs out again. So if we are a battery and we are fully charged for a Monday, and we're going and going with meetings and taking care of our kids and solving problems as most of us um, define our parenting as just solving problems day after day, what happens to our battery? It runs low. That is what the emotional bank is also. It's what are we putting in this emotional bank, this emotional battery? How are we recharging? How are we filling up that emotional bank? How are we stacking the emotional bank for our kids? Let's just talk about our kids for a second. We're spending time with them, telling them how much you appreciate them, complimenting them on certain things that they're doing, celebrating small wins with the big wins. Sometimes it's literally just that quality time playing a game with them. So they know that they're worth it. They're worth you spending your time with them. Every time we do that, we are just making a deposit. We're making a deposit. You know, we have older kids just sending that text message saying, you know, I just want you to know I love you or I miss you or I'm thinking of you. Just filling up that emotional bank. Because somewhere along the line, something's going to happen. There's going to be a disconnect. There's going to be a conflict. And that's when we kind of take a withdrawal. And as long as that emotional bank is full, the withdrawal of that is not going to bankrupt your emotional bank. Or going back to the battery analogy, you know, if you play it for a little bit too long, it's not going to totally deplete the battery. So how can you make sure you're continuing to put deposits in for your kid's emotional bank? Now let's talk about us. Let's talk about self-care. Let's talk about our own battery. A lot of people have an issue with self-care. And it's not that they don't want to self-care. They don't know how. So one of the activities or strategies, if you would, that I tell parents that I coach is if you love someone, how do you show that? How do you express your love to them? So, you know, I named a few things just now, but it's how you would fill their emotional bank, spend time with them, let them know that they're important to you, be present with them when they're talking to you, have that pitch and catch conversation where, you know, you both are learning from each other. It's neutral ground. There's no one that's superior than the other, because it's just a beautiful, real, raw conversation you're having and that you care enough about them to have that conversation. You know, it's letting them know that you see their greatness, that you see where they've improved and you see what they've done that's so great. It's so it's taking time. It's taking quality time. It's the words of affirmations. I mean, we can go into the five love languages. And you can go and Google that. And I, and I would invite you to do that, to figure out what your love language and to see what your kids love language is. But 
if you know your kid's love language, what's your own love language? How are you supporting that for yourself? You know, um, doing the random acts of kindness for yourself. And some people say, well, how do you do a random uh, act of kindness? Well, what is a random act of kindness? It's not a planning. It's just a, all of a sudden, you know what? I'm thinking of myself and you know what I would love? I would love a hot coffee. So I'm going to take some time to go get me a hot coffee. Just like you would for your husband, right? Like, you know, your husband loves hot coffee and you just thought about him. So you wanted to do something nice for him. So you went and got him a coffee. It could be something so simple like that, that shows that self-care. But that's how we recharge. It's taking that time to just have that moment for yourself where you're getting your mind balanced. You know, maybe it's working out. You know, we take care of our kids' needs all the time, making sure that they have balanced meals, making sure that they have enough exercise, making sure they have enough sleep. How are we doing it for ourselves? How are we recharging our own battery by taking time out just to relax or taking time to work out or do an activity to get our body moving, you know, reading good things, listening to good things. So our minds aren't full of all the weeds that we have to go and garden and pull them out. This is all part of self-care. This is all part about filling up your own emotional bank. Because I can tell you for my own self, when my emotional bank is run down or my battery, I get short with my kids. Um, I'm probably not the nicest person to be around. Um, I find things that are wrong versus finding things that are right. And that is a cue to me that, you know what? I'm running on low. I'm running on low. And then I have to ask myself, when's the last time I made a true deposit to myself in my own emotional bank? And then I just recharge and I take that moment. And I've also learned that when I'm recharging to let people know and let my kids know, like, look, I'm recharging today and I want to make sure all your needs are met and your dad's here to do that. So I just would like a day off. I would like a day just for mommy. And what I'm doing is not pushing them away, but teaching them, role modeling to them that I'm taking time to recharge my battery. I'm taking time to load up my emotional bank because I can't give them what I don't have. And it's pretty obvious when my tonality changes and I'm finding everything that's wrong versus finding things that are right. So be aware of your own emotional bank to make sure that you're continuing to build it. And, I, and I've talked about this several times before, but my friend Chuck Hogan has this quote that you can have the best life, but that doesn't mean that you're the best you. But when you are the best you, you can create your best life. And part of being the best us is really honing in on what are our gifts? What are our special characters that make us the person that we love, the person that wants, to, that people want to be around, you know, the relationships that are reciprocated. Does that person show up? Because if that person's showing up, then they're creating the best life that shows up for them. And as parents, if we're truly showing up that way, then we're role modeling for our kids how to show up that way. So I invite you to just take a moment and kind of engage. Where, where's your emotional bank? Where are you at? Or is your battery half full? What do you need to do to fill it up? So it doesn't just totally die and you're at that wit's end, you know, let your cup runneth over because what spills over is what you get to give even more to your kids. If you're finding value in the videos, please like comment, let me know what you do for self love and self care. I'm sure other people in our community would love to hear from other people as well, because it takes a village not just one way is going to solve everyone's problems. But when we come together and we start to share our different resources, then that's when we really start to be able to help each other be the best parent that we can be for our children. Thank you for joining and I'll see you next week.